we have learned a lot about limits, so let us summarize what we have seen up to now in this video. First of all, we have our limit rules, which is for example the sum rule, that the limit of a sum equals the sum of the limits. We have the uh, uh, product run the uh, quotient rule, uh, which says that the limit of a quotient equals the quotient of the limits, provided the denominator is not equal to zero, and we, ha uh, we can take limits inside continuous functions. And in that way we can compute many, say, innocent limits, like limit x to 2 of the cos of 2x plus 1, cos is a continuous function, you can take the limit inside, the limit x to 2 of 2x plus 1, you can basically plug in the number, you get the cosine of 5. So, example of an innocent limit, slightly less innocent. Uh, what happens if you take x to 0 in the function minus 1 over x squared? Well, then if you take x closer and closer to 0, then your function becomes bigger and bigger, uh, takes bigger and bigger negative values, so that we said that in that case our limit equals minus infinity. Uh, and what happens uh, at uh, the plus infinity side, also an example of an innocent limit, if you take x to infinity of say 1 over x, then your 1 over x gets smaller and smaller and the limit is set to be equal to 0. I limit x to infinity of something like x cubed, then if x gets bigger and bigger, your function also gets bigger and bigger and your fun limit is set to be infinity. Okay, for those limits, for the computations, you will have no problems whatsoever. You can just basically plug in the numbers, or you have to be slightly careful what happens when plugging in infinity, but okay. What are the dangerous limits? Well, for example, if you take something like infinity minus infinity, limit x to infinity of x squared minus x, be careful, infinity is not a real number, you cannot just put zero there. Infinity minus infinity is dangerous. Other example, infinity over infinity, limit x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 1, you have infinity over infinity. What happens then? You cannot just cancel out the infinities. Or if you have 0 over 0, also a dangerous limit, you cannot just cancel out the zeros because you cannot divide by 0. For example, x squared minus 1 over x minus 1 for x going to 1. You have learned how to use all those dangerous cases in all the previous lectures, so you can do those. We will encounter even more dangerous limits, like 0 to the power 0. What happens then? Something to the power 0 equals 1, but 0 to some power equals 0, so what happens? For example, x to 0 of x to the power x, don't know how to do it yet. Or 1 to the power infinity, 1 to some power equals 1, but 1 to some uh, but something to the power infinity will be infinity, so what happens? For example, x to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. So if x goes to infinity, the 1 plus 1 over x will tend to 1 and the x to the infinity, so if you have something of the form 1 to the power infinity, or 0 times infinity, like x times the ln of x. x goes to 0, but the ln blows up, so what can we do in that case? So those are uh, even more dangerous limits, which we will learn, but we don't know yet how to do them. And maybe the very most dangerous of all limits, the biggest danger by far, the numbers plus or minus infinity are not real numbers. You cannot use the normal rules of algebra that you are used to, so you have to be aware that you, uh, that you need to be careful when you are dealing with plus or minus infinity. Don't just plug them in, uh, you, 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 they are well defined, I've learned how to handle them, but handle with care.